Hi guys, it's Rob here and I'm back with another Unity tutorial. And today I'm going to be going over with you uh, public static variables and how they could be used to communicate between scripts. So to illustrate this, I'm going to create two scripts. My first script is going to be new script and my second script is going to be new script one. I don't recommend that in your project you use these naming conventions. This is just for illustration purposes. And now we're going to double click the new script here. And new script is actually going to be the container that holds my public variable. So I'm actually going to, I had two instances of model develop open. I'm actually just going to close those out. Okay. And now double click this one more time. Just so that only one instance opens up. There we go. So this is going to actually be our container that holds our public static variable. I'm going to say public static health. And one more thing here, this is going to be int. So public static int health. Okay, and here I'm going to, so this is like, for example, let's say we're coding a video game, because we're using Unity, so uh, much of the uh, things that go on in Unity, uh, many people use that, it's a game engine. So most of the stuff that's made with that is games, whether that be serious simulations, or actually games for entertainment. So now if we say here, health equals, and let's give it an integer value of 3. Okay. So now we have health equal to 3 here, and now what we could do is we could open up new script 1. And so you might be wondering, okay, well let's say an enemy hits our player. Well, we're going to want to take into account that when the enemy hits the player, we're going to subtract from the health. So just a quick way you could do that would be in this update function here, right? We could say, uh, we'll say new script right because we need to reference that script and then dot right and what we're doing here is see we have this public static reference here now what this does this makes it accessible the variable accessible to all the other scripts so all we have to do is say new script dot and then whatever the variable name is so health so let me take you through that one more time what we just did here was this is the name of the script that our public static variable is contained in right namely here new script and then right and it's important that you use this syntax public static then you type and then the variable name. And we initialize the variable in this script. Then over here, we say new script dot health, and let's say we want it to equal two. So you might be wondering, uh, you know, so what, what's this gonna do? Well, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have both these scripts in attached to game objects within the scene, okay? Now you're gonna see that at first, our health is initialized to three from this script. And then, it, and then when we're referencing this variable in this script, it's set equal to two. So to illustrate this, I'm going to put two print statements. Print, right, and I'm going to say new script dot health. And you'll notice the, intelli the IntelliSense is very helpful here. It actually just gives us, you know, sometimes Unity could actually be a bit of a pain uh, with the IntelliSense popping up, and, and it could, it could be, uh, you know, auto-correcting things for you. But in this case, it's, it's really helpful. And what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to copy this line. Not that we need to call this new script dot health in the new script where the variable is actually contained. But I'll just erase that part. It's easier than typing in the whole thing. I'll just go here and I'll say print health. I'll save that. I'm going to create two empty game objects just to illustrate. Actually, I'll just attach these to the main camera just to keep things simple. So we'll just click and drag here. So basically, you're going to want to use this technique whenever you have a variable that's going to be accessed by all the scripts, like so health, ammo. So let's take a look here. So we have both of these scripts. We're going to open up our console. We're going to hit play here. Okay, so right now the value is 3. And why this isn't updating to 2. Let's take a look here. Try this again. Perhaps I didn't save the script. See, here we go. So you'll see that I have it collapsed right now. But if we uncollapse it, so basically collapse is a way that lets you whenever you get the uh, the same of something. So if you have duplicates, it'll just collapse that. So you only get one of that message. Um, and as you can see, it was first three, and then it became two. And you can see that our, it, the value is still currently two. So that's how you can use public static variables in your games. Uh, to make your life a lot easier when referencing between scripts. 
Thanks, guys. I uh, hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.